Hi everyone, yes, I just wanted to sort of touch on like something I've uh, been noticing about veganism and stuff. So yeah, today I was sort of in, um, yeah, I was in sort of a town centre, yeah, and um, yeah, there was a few things. Um, for a start, I was looking at um, a newspaper and they were saying that this family were going to get put on the street or something, which is a shame, but they had to, if they don't sell their pet or something, and obviously this family loved their pet a lot, and I, I thought it was a bit hypocritical for them to say, you know, sell their pet, because when they're eating the bodies of other animals, almost certainly, and they said something about, you know, if you mistreat your cat or dog, you can get put in, like, you know, jail or something. But I, I think even then, that's sort of, um, that's slightly ironic and hip, hip, you know, hypocrisy is, is obvious in that. Because, um, you know, we don't, we don't say the same things to farm animals and, and people have to do what they like to them. So, yeah, and that sort of links in another thing. Um, I also, um, in Sweden today, the NSPCC, which is really good a charity to do, like, protecting children and stuff. And it's really good, um, to, you know, homeless or whatever. But the thing is, I don't think there exists a charity that protects infant animals and stuff. So like, um, you know, like kind of, you know, pigs, sort of piglets, you know, uh, chicks, whatever, um, sort of calves, bobby calves, whatever. Infant animals is what I'm trying to say, lambs, whatever. There isn't really a charity that protects them specifically. So I think that isn't a slight hypocrisy going on in society where we kind of um, protect one but not the other, even though all these animals are the same in all ways that matter. Um, and there isn't any difference in the way they want to live. I think it's like hypocrisy we need to realise. That's just hope I'm going to solve argument because, you know, no one blinks an eye that a billion chickens are killed every year for the UK food supply industry. No one blinks an eye that the amount of victims of World War Two. He killed that number of animals every three days for the UK food supply industry. No one blinks an eye. And, you know, how can you stand for the you know obviously you know why why protect the vulnerable and innocents and the children, but then when it comes to infant animals what about their vulnerability in it so what, what or just animals in general what about their because they get killed at a fraction of their life lives and they're basically still you know infants when they're killed so what's the difference between protecting the vulnerable and innocents and children but not in the animals and that's the thing it's again with hypocrisy not just about cats or dogs but, but between human beings and other animals because we're animals and I, I just feel like um slightly hip hypocrisy in society that all these charities and everything and even in that swing and advertising and stuff saying oh god if you mistreat your dog and everything this happens oh god your family don't want to sell their beloved pet or whatever and I, even today i saw loads of things about you know kind of books about you know pets and everything and we didn't dismiss that david williams has put that book oh god how you pet pet this pet that you know everyone loves their pets and i look after pet old dog walks and stuff but then it's just turning a blind eye to what's happening in abattoirs to pet cows pigs chickens fish and no one cares it's all hidden away it's not anywhere and it's absurd and, and you can't ignore what's happening, especially when you're paying for it every day, every day of your life. And thankfully I've woken up, I just hope people can, other people can wake up too and see why all these charities protecting the innocence and vulnerability in children or other humans, you know, disability, whatever. I mean, I'm on, on the spectrum, so I, I'm part of that. But then the innocence and vulnerability in animals is not being protected. They're killed at the mass of three trillion a year, one billion chickens a year for the UK food supply industry. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And no one blinks an eye. And this is the thing. Perhaps I can relate to it because I'm maybe maybe in that sort of on the spectrum category. I can sort of relate to you know sort of a you know, vulnerable adult, or whatever. As a vulnerable adult, I can relate to the vulnerable animals and their innocence is, isn't and their rights aren't. They, not, they haven't even got bodily integrity. You know, forget forget having your pet your pet dog and giving it giving it a name and walking it around, loving it, caring in it, hugging it, put on it for social media. These pigs, cows, ch chickens, and shit don't have any bodily body integ integrity. We kill chickens at forty days old. Pigs are killed at six months old. And they're meant to be more intelligent than dogs and stand in a gas chamber. Cows are maternal beings who don't even get to bear their own children. Um, unbelievable. We, we actually can take their own right to, to have a, be, be, be maternal to their own young. And it's absurd. We need to see what's happening because we can't turn a blind eye to what's obvious and what's the truth and what, you know, the truth always wins. And, you know, this, this can't continue. Um, I just go out and I see all these newspapers, all these books, all these you know, kids' books or whatever, or, or all this propaganda, all this, all this, ch all these charities protecting one. I'm not saying because they're not directly related to the NSPCC and all the other ones, like Barnardos or whatever. You know, whatever it is, it still annoys me because you never. There isn't a charity. You know, RSPC are rubbish. They actually promote the slaughter of chickens. But even Peta, I think that they're the best one. But they, even they, you know, they've been accused of like killing dogs and shoulders and stuff. And um, I, I still don't see a charity that's specifically protecting piglets, chicks, bobby calves. Um, lambs fish there isn't one um there wasn't enough certainly not enough that it protects pe other people's rights and there's even a book today in smith about racism or something about oh god our prejudice and everything oh god how we well, you know racism is everywhere i'm thinking this is that's like speciesism speciesism is everywhere and it's more pronounced because speciesism no one even sees as a form of discrimination speciesism is like the one that people just turn a blind eye to racism sexism anti-semitism 
against any of the disparity age, religion, whatever. That's all we learned from our mistakes in the past World War Two, transatlantic slave trade, you know, suffragettes. But it still continues. Speciesism is the only one that's continuing. It's the only one that needs to change. That's why I'm so passionate about it. Fair enough to the other charities, but I'm passionate about veganism because these beings have no voice, and I want to give the, give them give them a voice. Because uh, I'm, I'm I'm glad I know the truth. So I'm, I'm glad I'm able to. So yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you can see reason now. <laughs>